Hello everyone, this is Zeno and Zimmer here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. The last time we found out the thief was Latios, and we've been tasked to save Sister Latias in Pitfall Valley. Of course, we're going to save Latias. Pitfall Valley though, uh... In the original, this place sucks. This version is not that bad, and it's all because they switched up how agility works. Yes, so I'm not dealing with poison. <sighs> so, there's a Pokemon in here called Aerodactyl. You can tell what it has from how I talked about agility. Agility was bloody broken in the original, so I'm happy that was somewhat fixed. They can still be pretty broken if you link it up, but hey. We're going to be focusing on getting to Lightness. Looks weird, unconscious. Give it a tiny apple, cause it's not mean. That's actually really good. Not great, but not bad. Granted, now Pitbull Valley has Lady Buff, which... Right now, my brain is not wanting to give me any talking points. I guess I could probably, like, give them a hint about the planned projects that I've got. It's, that is coming more and more into fruition. Granted, personal life is more important right now, so. I'll probably have, by the time this goes up, some of it recorded. Because I know personal life is more important to, like, take, for myself to take care of and, you know, live and eventually give these videos out. But yeah, it's been a project that... I'm kind of excited to show. I'm just hoping that I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get used to this recording setup and not fever. Why do you do that? All right, awesome. You love up. You just. In our journey here. You just extended by a full two minutes. Anyways. But yeah, personal life is starting to become a little bit heavy. So I am using making that the 
I am trying to finish up these two LPs before I completely like have to start bulking up so much recordings. So I could probably talk about one of my cancelled projects that was actually going to be out before uh, Ninja Storm. And that is Advance Wars 1 and 2. As someone who's a fan of Advance Wars 4, I was a fan of Fire Emblem. I honestly was excited to do the project, but how long it took for, uh, you know, the project to actually, for the PC to actually, the, the recording software and PC to actually want to work, all over. Uh, that ended up being shelved because by the time Storm's done, the project that I want to do will probably be in the forefront of my mind and I want to do that first. Which does mean that what I was intended to do with Advance Wars is going to be shelved because I was planning on going through it, just going through it normal, normal timing. And then when Advance Wars Reboot Camp came out, I was going to plan to do that and uh, compare the games. If there's any small changes, small things. Heck, even give a small bit of review. Granted, the game would have been out for a little bit before then. Since that's not the case, yeah. <sighs> Though I am excited for Reboot Camp, I kind of wish we saw, we got to see more of it, which is my only gripe with things, especially with the rumor. Masquerade. Uh, but yeah, that's not going to be the case. That plant's kind of sunk. Not that it's. So. There was going to be more plans depending on what they kept, which I, from things that have been coming out, it seems that they're keeping a lot. map creation and all that. Because... I guess I can tell you, since it, it is technically part of a project that is not going to be happening for a long while. Uh, I planned on, like, every month or so to come 
back to Advance Wars, Reboot Camp, and sort of either show off missions that I saw, either be either you guys suggesting them or make or made yourselves, or ones that I made myself. But also doing probably like once every two months or something. A sort of challenge mission setup. Where like I'll make the mission, I'll show you guys the map, and then if you've got people who really like Advance Wars, you can challenge them to beat it. Of course I won't I'll probably have also a way showing you a way to beat it. Beat it. But I will also probably have it be case of Yeah this the actual solution the, the way to the mission the video map that allows you to see how I be it be it is going to be done is going to be to be released much later on that day or won't be released at least until the day after or something. I don't know. It would heavily depend on how it's being how when the game comes out and all that, and if they've kept it and all that, and if they've added stuff or not. Just definitely one sort of idea I really want to try, but I don't know if I'll be able to. More due to um. More due to the limitations we had, and the game not giving us, like not being able to reduce the numbers of enemies that you put on, enemies or allies you put on the map, because that's something I definitely would want to fiddle around with. And if there was, if it wasn't the original, oh my god, that shows how much I should probably try to fill around with that map creator. A Yama for Yama. That's a project that I. It's a project that I won't be able to to, to do fully because once the Wars reboot camp comes out, I don't think I'll be able to play the original because of how. how because of how the best way to play now is Game Boy is broken is literally by. Getting wrong, and I don't really condone that unless it's impossible to get another copy, which is to tell you about that. Because I have issues concerning on concerning of how people handle how ROMs are handled and all that. And my big one is. Unless the game is impossible to find, or is really expensive, more than it should be, I don't condone like buying ROMs for it for the game. If the game is accessible to buy, buy it. If it's not, then then I'm okay. But even then, I still usually would say. Try and get the actual physical version. And I really don't condone anyone trying to get ROMs off very new games. Anyone that does that, I say no. I really do condemn you and I really think you're not that great of a person if you try to 
Okay, this is probably the most weird shop. But uh, yeah, if I I don't I don't like when people when people just try and buy. Well, not even buy like try and get the get runs of games just for free. And like well I I'm like I do feel happy for those who can't buy games and want to play them. I'm also like. Yeah, you should probably prioritize that if you really do, don't buy the ROMs off an online site. You're robbing people all buying it. Like the only time I'm almost a cool girl, like ripping like ripping the ROMs or, or getting music out. And for ROM hacks. Which I'm usually fine with because like, yeah, this is something I can't really do. But again, for most part, I don't. I don't agree with people. But just getting ROMs just to play a game that they can easily buy. I can give a good example of what I find to be okay would be like be Fire Emblem Raiding Dawn. As much as, as, some, as someone who actually owns a copy that's now wrecked to pieces. Because of how expensive that game is, it's really awful to get one. Get a copy now and it's same with the power ratings, and the little games I'd be fine with. Like people getting the ROM online and playing it. Another game is like games that aren't going to be played now due to either the games themselves being almost destroyed or in some cases this is the game never being released. Advanced Wars is one of those games where you have to do that Well, actually, there's also another way I'm fine with it, and that's if you actually have bought the game yourself. As someone who has bought Advance Wars, well, I haven't paid for it, but I got it for. I think Christmas. Was it Christmas or birthday? I don't remember. I really loved it. I really loved it more. I never played Double Strike. I played. Uh. Dark Conflict, but now that I know Days of Ruin, which is the American version of it, and I like Days of Ruin much more than Dark Conflict for the most part. I think the only thing I don't like is uh, a few character interactions and that's it. Sorry, Cypher. So, yeah, that ends my title of what I think of ROM ripping, I guess.
That was weird. We're almost there. Go be joking. This is sort of the situation where Original game, it would be awful. Oh no. Sorry. Oh, actually, no, I actually need this. I shall just say goodbye to Ivory. Oh, I see it. That's not that bad. So I leave it behind. That was quick stairs. Please be two more quick stairs. Two more quick stairs. Oh no. Oh my god. reason why uh air dike tour terrifying now what's the power because we're going to need this we need this extra power oh god you got me joking Power. 
survive. No, just can't. No, not stay away, surround. Right, poison powder throw pass. Yeah. 
right. It's the path for it. So I like this ending area better than the original. The original was just a rock cave. Here, it's much more creepy. You are? Did you maybe come to save me? Yes, I'll be fine. My wing is still damaged a little, but I can go. She looks so sad! I'm not going to be convinced that's not a reference against Infinity and I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Gold dojo ticket. We just got dojo tickets, what are they doing with dojo tickets? Yes. No. Yes. Thank you. No. Masquerade. If this was the original, you would suck, but it's not. Yama, yeah, let's go. And finally, Latios. Latios, you're safe. That's incredible. I'm sorry, I caused you so much worry. Oh, this is great. It's so touching. <laughs> My sister is safe, all thanks to you. To be honest, We're back together again. It's happiness beyond words. We owe you so much gratitude. Thank you. It's okay, really. When you put it that way, it's even a little embarrassing. <laughs> However, we have no money or any other way of repaying your kindness. So, it's the least we can do. May we join your rescue team? Huh? We'd like to join Team Mystery and help your rescue work. That work? Would you be willing to accept us on your rescue team? Really? Of course we're happy to have you. This used to be a yes no thing, I don't know why. <laughs> Zeno, you're on board, right? Done. You're our fellow members from now on. Great to have you. One thing I wish they did in the original was spin around. They span they actually zoomed around the circle. Which is Honestly, I wish that was still a that thing. Thanks for having us. Delayed to join! They join at level 35, which is... Eh, not bad. If it comes very early, but it doesn't. Lanchu has joined your team. Whoa! It has rare quality quality. Mind over matter! Ah, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's a great rare quality. No. I believe in the original, Latios was slightly higher level than Latios, and I don't know why. Shared happiness. That's actually a good one. And with that... We only have one mission to do. Just to find the Mirage Pokemon, I believe. Oh! Oh, that's not. I thought another event was happening. Maybe it did? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna show this first. Because we need. This is a start of Oh! This is also a start of another event! I've heard warm teaser say whirlpool stretches from sea to sky in a colossal tornado. It is said to be near the legendary island. It hasn't caused any damage as far as no, it does not serve me. Will you drop to Legendary and serve for the place? Yes, please. It's a good job, I have the best for you. We'll head to that there soon. We found it 
And last, yes! Bind it, we did! I wish we were finally come true! <laughs> hey now, don't forget about mine! Listen, Eggins, we must keep this a secret just between the two of us. We, can tell, we can't tell any Pokemon, not even Gengar! I, I don't know anything. Me too. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about making wishes come true. I know nothing. We won't be seeing them for a while. I'll end this episode by going to the legendary island. Because it's our friend area. We'll check on those two. But now, let's check on the birds. Fire, ice, electricity. When three powers merge as one, the guardian of the sea is set to arise. Our arrival at the legendary island, the three of us caused the sea guardian to awaken. It is what caused the whirlpools to grow into tornadoes. I have here the vortex stone. Bearing it, you will gain passage through the sea of tornadoes. It will lead you to a place called the Silver Trench. There you will find the Guardian of the Sea. Now go. The Guardian of the Sea awaits you. We obtained the Vortex Stone. And gained access to the Silver Trench. Oh boy. I was not expecting all... Oh, I guess we'll get to see a bit more. I forgot that end of the day. I did not think it did. Okay, so it's cool. Yeah, random Pokemon get chosen. Got chosen, I believe, for those. I swear, it was so random. You ready, Atkins? Two of us going to the dungeon is the best idea. If you ever one of us falls before the end, oh, I get it. If the other one can still go make wishes. That's smart, man, chap. But of course, I can't wait until the wishes come true. I wish for a broader lower jaw. I want a, I want bigger jaw so I can swallow bigger things whole. My wish is for a place where I can meditate in peace. With no one to bother me. It would be magnificent if I could meditate for a year of life. Yeah! I I don't know anything. Me too. I don't know a thing. I don't know anything. Oh, I don't think was this was true. I know nothing! Very, very good, you two. You are very smart. Anyways, just I'll end this off by showing off Silver Trench. Because, oh boy. I believe it hasn't changed. Alright, Joyous Tower's unlocked. And, oh. Oh no. I'm getting nightmares from this place. Silver Trench! Manor Floor Dungeon! It does not have any requirements. At the end, Lugia waits. Well, I will not be doing this. I might as well talk about this. Purity Forest. I will talk about this later, but look at the requirements. Initial level, 5. Teammates, 1 at max. Items, not acceptable. Team can team members can be recruited. No map. I I'll talk about that dungeon much later. Let's just say I hate this place. And so does a lot of people. I don't blame them. But if you're 100 percent you're going through this dungeon. But we won't be doing that. Oh. Next time, 
on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Rescue Team, DX. We're going to the Fiery Field and finding out who can tell us about the Mirage Pokemon. This is Zeno and Zimmer, signing out.